Hello, this is going to be the ninth in the History of Your series. This is going to be the first battle of Bull Run, as it's known in the north, and in the south it's known as First Manassas. Um, so this is going to be just a basic overview. I'm not going to go too much into military tactics, but just a short overview. Um, okay, now first you have to know it came, it took place basically July 21st of 1861 and was basically the first major battle of the U.S. Civil War. Um, before the battle, Union General um, Irvin McDowell is in charge of 35,000 troops heading across the Potomac into Virginia from Washington, D.C. Now, on the other side of the Potomac, though, you have um, a Confederate force of 20,000 men under Confederate General Pierre G.T. Beauregard. Now, um, the battle really starts out good for the Federals at first. Um, the Federals kept pushing back the Confederates and they could see them retreating. Um, Confederate General Joseph Johnston was unable to re reinforce Beauregard for help. So you have Johnston stuck wherever he is, and you have Beauregard who has this massive federal divisions coming right at his army, and he's stuck and can't really do anything but retreat back. So for a while, um, the Union attacking column of made up of over around like 10,000 troops keeps hitting the Confederate forces one after one. And it looks like that the day is going to be lost and the Union troops are happy because they think that they can, you know, defeat these rebels and be home by Christmas, basically. Um, so anyway, while this attack is happening, another Confederate force shows up. This is under Jackson and his troops. Um, they attack, They arrive at Manassas and ask to hold, ask um, the Confederate commander, Beauregard, to hold the ground so Jackson can assemble his troops and go into battle. So, um, by, by some miracle, they are able to hold the ground so Jackson can quickly gather up his forces and set up his fresh brigade to go attack. Now, while Jackson is um, assembling his fresh troops and there's a lot of commotion, you have a lot of Confederate troops that were in battle before Jackson arrived who are retreating, running, screaming, some are dead, a lot are mortally wounded, yet you have Jackson here and his brigade setting up like, you know, they're going to defeat this whole federal army with no problem. And you have the other brigades, the other Confederate brigade, that is coming back from being defeated, wondering, you know, is he crazy? They're going to get slaughtered out there. So, <clears throat> this, however actually turned the tide of the battle. Um, while Jackson was setting up his troops and they began to fight the Federals onward, um, the a Confederate general known as General Bernard B. Um, uh, rode over on horseback to his retreating South Carolinian troops that were, you know, distraught, were retreating, escaping. And this is where you get that famous lure of Jackson. You know, supposedly, General B um, stopped his South Carolina brigade and said, Hey, look, men, there's Jackson standing like a stone wall, rallied behind the Virginian. So this is how um, General B instills um, courage in his troops, saying that, Hey, if Jackson's troops can withstand all this chaos, we can rally up again and help them. And this actually helps out and saves the day for the Confederates. Um, the South Carolinians regroup 
They join Jackson and his Virginians, and they push the Federals back to Washington. Um, during the battle, you actually, and this is the strange part about the Civil War, um, during the early battles, especially um, First Manassas, you have um, picnickers coming out. Um, mainly from Washington, D.C. in this particular battle, um, you have Washington, D.C. citizens come out enjoying a little picnic thinking that the small Union force is going to crush the Confederates and this will be over in about a week or a month tops. So um, with the tide turned and the Confederates winning, you have not only um, federal troops running back to Washington, but you also have civilians picking up blankets, picnic baskets, anything they can grab, and running back to the capital um, be and fleeing from this Confederate force. <clears throat> so what happens as a result from this battle? Um, um, you basically have a few things as a result of this battle. Um, you have the Confederates... Um, morale boost up high because they defeated a big um, larger army than themselves um, another uh, outcome of this battle is you have the legend of stonewall jackson born and um, that's where he becomes known as stonewall jackson and even his brigade is known as the stonewall brigade um, up until his death in 1863 um, another thing you have as a outcome of this battle is a um, Union command change. Um, because of Beauregard's, um, well, no, not Beauregard's, but because of um, McDowell's, um, I would say, cowardless, cowardness, he is removed as the commander and a new commander is put in. So that's another um, outcome of this battle as well. So anyway, that is basically the first battle of um, Bull Run or Manassas. I tend not to get too much into military history here on my channel because I'm not really a good military historian per se, but you know, it, it deals with Civil War history, which I'm good at, so I hope you like that.